This journey that we are on is a very lonely journey. And sometimes it can really feel as though we are all alone. The things that we like to talk about, the things that we're interested in, our hopes, our dreams, our goals, our struggles, it really feels like nobody and no one can really or truly relate. And you're on this path of greatness. You want to improve your life. You want to improve your social skills. You want to improve your living situation. You want to improve your social circle. And being on this journey where you are working on your mental health, you're working on your relationship with God, you're building it up, and you're trying to make yourself into this unbreakable man, this man of confidence and character, strong character development. This path of growth is very lonely because if you're anything like me, maybe what you want is you want to start a family. You want to live somewhere in a nice environment where you are supported, you are loved for who you are and You don't have people that constantly try and make fun of you or insult your journey or put you down for who you are because those are not true friends. Those are not true people that should even be around you. I'm on this journey of bettering myself and these days I'm waking up early I'm getting up at 5 a.m. going to bed early trying to make sure that I get my workouts in really trying to bulk up and really just become this version of myself that no one can break, that is untouchable. Because I don't want to be like the 1% of people. And if you're on this journey yourself and you feel what I'm saying, I know there's going to be times of doubt and confusion and sometimes you may not even know you may even question if you are on the right path but the way that I always try to look at it even when I start feeling down and depressed I know that I'm working on myself and everyone around me the people that don't really want to be a part of my life and the people that are a part of my life and they treat me negatively because they know I'm working on myself. I know that all that stuff, all this stuff that's going on right now, everyone who dislikes me or doesn't respect me or thinks I'm this or thinks I'm that, thinks Raheem is that, thinks Raheem is this, they're not even going to matter five years from now. None of that's going to matter because I have made it up in my mind. I've made up my mind and I'm going to change my life and I'm going to get what I want out of life. And there is nobody, there is no one on this earth who will ever come close to telling me otherwise. 
So as a man, you got to know what you want and you got to stand up for it. And maybe back then I was like, oh, well, maybe I can start this business and maybe I can make it work. Maybe I can become the best version of myself. Now, ever since I've been off of social media for like three weeks and I haven't been doing any bad habits, I've been journaling and meditating and really just working on my relationship with God, building it up and and reading. I have definitely become more confident in myself and I've become stronger. And if you go on this same path, you will too become stronger. You will become more confident, but it is going to take time and it's not going to feel good. It's going to be very discomforting. And I'm still a work in progress. I still have a long way to go. A very long way to go. A very lonely journey. One day you're going to have a, a beautiful wife who loves you for who you are. She's loving, she's caring. If you ever get sick, she's going to try to take care of you. And you're going to have children that are just like you. And you'll be living in this wonderful home. And you'll be surrounded around people who love you for you. And you get to show them your love. And you'll be living a great life getting paid to do something that you love. This is the life that you have to visualize. You have to visualize the life that you want. And that life will gravitate towards you. You will attract that life. The more you visualize it, the more positive things you say to yourself, you will attract it. Now, of course, you still have to do the work. The work is going to be very discomforting. But growth is painful. It does not feel good. And the people around you, the people that are in your life that mistreat you, they are going to resent you. Because they see you growing and they get kind of intimidated. They get intimidated that you are growing. And then the people that's not in your life, they're going to want to come back into your life. They're going to say, oh, hey, how you doing? No. And that is basically a representation of people. When you are doing very poorly in life, you are struggling, you have poor mental health, you don't really have much money, and you're doing poor in life, people don't really want to be around you. If they saw potential in you, they would be around you. And then, then you start leveling up. You start going to the gym. You put on a little bit of muscle mass, right? And then you start making a little bit of money. You start thriving in your mental health. You become more charismatic. You're starting to become the best version of yourself. You're on the first step. People are going to see that. They're going to see that you are doing a little bit better. And they are going to want a piece of the pie. And I can't stand people like that. These are NPCs that you want to stay away from. These people will only try and drain you and pull you back down, yank you right back. People that love you for you will always be there, no matter how you're doing in life. 
if your business, let's just say you do make a, and here's the problem with this modern idea that you have to be making a certain amount of money. You make a certain amount of money. You lose that money. Then what happens? They weren't with you for you in the first place. If they leave you after you lose all the money, you lose the business. You need people around you that, that love you for you, that care about you for you, that respect you for you, not what you could be, not what they want you to be, not what you can do. And in due time, people with the same goals as you will just naturally gravitate towards you. Law of Attraction. My name's Raheem. Never give up. Your youngest self is rooting for you. Peace out.